Hey, my loves. So, I know I was supposed to have came to you guys on Friday with a video and on Tuesday, but there's been so much going on. It's like, it's crazy. So, excuse the glare. It's like bright out here. Um, it's hot too. It's 91. But um, before we get started, I want you guys to um, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I love you guys. Thank you to all my subscribers. Let's get these videos seen, okay? Um, definitely join the family on this surrogacy journey and see what's up. So, as you can see by the title, what is going on? What's going to happen? Where do we stand? Um, when it comes to this surrogacy journey, let me tell you, this one seems like it's going a little left. Yes, I pointed left and right, but left. Um, it seems like uh, once we're getting to a good place, it kind of goes backwards. So right now, the position that we are in is that um, I had my, my cycle like I was supposed to, and we were waiting to get confirmation from the fertility clinic on which date I was going to fly out to California to do my medical clearance so that way we could sign the legal paperwork and kind of go from there. Well, my agency was dealing with the fertility clinic and the fertility clinic has now decided that they denied me. Um, and the reason that they denied me was simply because seven years ago, I had gotten really sick um i had started off with like an upper respiratory infection and that turned into viral meningitis and then from there that turned into pneumonia and from there that turned into four pulmonary embolisms in my right lung and they were pretty huge um if you don't know what a pulmonary embolism is it's a blood clot um in my lung i have four of them and so once again this was seven years ago I don't have chronic issues with pulmonary embolisms. I don't have any kind of pulmonary issues. I don't have health issues at all. Um, but what ever happened, some kind of freak situation, that's just what happened to me in 2014. So um, the agency talked to the fertility clinic and you know was waiting on their answer and the fertility clinic I'm sorry, I seen a bee flying and one of my win my windows are down. So I was like watching, making sure it didn't fly this way. Um, so the fertility clinic, you know, took their sweet time and they kind of argued back and forth with the agency about how they did not want to cover me because um, of my past medical history. And so my agency was fighting back and they were like, well, hey, a minute, hey, wait a minute. She has, you know, she doesn't have these issues as a chronic issue. She also um, is very healthy. She's had a successful pregnancy before then. She's gotten medically cleared by other doctors. It's just since we're going through you guys as an agency, we need you guys to clear um, her. And they said no. They said that their medical director does not want to take that risk. And then come to find out they don't have a medical director. So this man just looked at me really crazy because I look like I'm talking to myself. Um, so they don't have a medical director. They just didn't want to do it because my agency is not partnered up with them. So now my agency is trying to find another fertility clinic that I can get matched with. This... Um, particular fertility clinic was in San Diego or the you know greater San Diego area so they're looking in Los Angeles and at other places to see if I can go to one of those fertility clinics um also what's happening is um now we're trying to or their the agency contacted my IP's coordinator and they're trying to see what they want to do as the next steps. The last thing that we heard was that the IPs were totally fine with me still being their um, surrogate and that they wanted me to be their surrogate and they were willing to move their um, embryos from the facility that denied me to another facility in order for me to be their surrogate. So um, my agency had emailed their coordinator and because the time difference is like 13 to 15 hour time difference, um, 
from here to China, we're waiting for that response. Um, and so it's kind of frustrating in a sense because where do we go from here? You know what I mean? Like what happens? What if the IP say, you know what, this is too much of a hassle. We'll find somebody else. Or what if another another fertility clinic denies me and which would really be hard and hurtful because I have had a successful pregnancy since 2014. Um, of course, as you guys know, my last surrogacy was perfectly fine. I was healthy. The baby was healthy. Everything was fine. So it's kind of a downer. Um, and it kind of, you know, makes me feel like what's going on and I know I'm getting older so it's like I don't have much time to do this so I want to be able to help a family while I still can and I know it's no fault of mine it's no fault of the IPs it's no fault of the agency it's just the fertility clinic wants to be super difficult so that's my gripe um definitely kind of stressed out about it kind of nervous about it so what this also means is I need to have another cycle um we'll probably end up having to go through that because now it's been a week or two since I've had my cycle so or about a week I think so it's going to require that I have another one because now I'm in the ovulation stage and my cycle will be coming soon so I have to have another cycle um, this also means that it pushes the transfer date further back. Um, so the way I look at it, after medical clearance, I still have to go through legal paperwork. And there could be back and forth with the wording and the amounts and whatever the case may be with the legal paperwork. So we have to go back and forth with that. And then it takes anywhere between two to six weeks to get that fully approved and completed and um, what else? Um, and then from there, um, we have to go through all the hormone treatments. So I still have to do at least a month of birth control pills. And then I have to start my shots. And then we have to go to the doctor's appointments and make sure that my lining is okay. And then we have to make sure that my blood levels are okay. We have to make sure everything is okay. And then we can finally go on to the transfer. So it's going to be a lot. Um, so the way I'm looking at it is that I probably will not do the transfer or have the transfer done until October again of this year when I did the transfer in October of 2019. So we'll see how it goes. We'll definitely have to see what's up. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm sorry that everything else has been kind of crazy. Um, the reason why I did not end up posting yesterday was because I went and got the COVID vaccine on Monday. And I've just been kind of tired and worn out um from the side effects of it um nothing bad but just exhausted um so i don't go back for my second shot until may 3rd which is something that i was gonna have to do anyways with the pregnancy so i figured i'd just get it out of the way now and be done with it so that's a whole nother thing um and so i figured well while i have the time i'm going to do a a detox so i'm doing the teamy detox and i will definitely do a video about that so you guys check that out um and then oh, that sun looks beautiful on this skin yes for the sun kiss skin um anyway um i will keep you guys updated on that journey too because apparently you're supposed to lose like a pound a day or something like that and so I could definitely stand to lose 30 pounds. Most people don't think that and they're like, you don't look like it, but my weight says otherwise. So definitely looking to do that. I'll keep you guys, I'll do videos on that too. So you guys check that out. But um, I just wanted to give you guys that update on what's going on with the surrogacy. It's really hot in this car. Um, I'm waiting for my husband to come out of his job so we can go home he was supposed to have been off about 
25 minutes ago. Um, so I'm just waiting for that, but definitely wanted to update you guys. Um, I thank you guys again for subscribing, watching, following me on this journey. I know that it's been kind of like <laughs> up and down and bumpy. Um, definitely looking forward to having better news for you guys. So as soon as I find something out, I don't care if it's not a Tuesday or a Friday, I will definitely keep you guys updated. As soon as I find something out, we're just waiting for the IP's um, coordinator to get the message, respond, whatever, since we are so far apart hour wise. Um, and we're on two totally, of course, totally different time zones. So I'll probably get that response tomorrow or later on tonight um and see what they say and well i'll update you guys from there but i'm gonna do a video when i get home of the teeny tea as well and we're gonna document that journey so um i'll let you guys know i thank you guys so much for being a part of my family and following along with everything that's going on with me um don't forget once again to like comment share and subscribe here comes my husband. So anyways, I love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.